In this video, we'll be discussing about the DNA polymerases. These are the enzymes that catalyze the addition of nucleotides to an existing nucleic acid strand. The primary function of DNA polymerase is to mediate the template-dependent synthesis of DNA molecule from DNTPs, that's deoxynucleoside triphosphates. During the process of synthesis, it adds free nucleotides only to 3' end of newly forming strand. So in nutshell, this DNA polymerase drives DNA replication and repair within the cell. Now let's see the classification of DNA polymerases. We have prokaryotic DNA polymerases, eukaryotic DNA polymerases and viral DNA polymerases. In prokaryotic DNA polymerases, we have DNA polymerase 1, polymerase 2, polymerase 3, polymerase 4, polymerase 5 and polymerase D. The polymerase 1, 2, 3 belongs to family A, B, C respectively and polymerase 4 and 5 belongs to family Y of DNA polymerases and the last polymerase that's polymerase D belongs to family D. Then we have eukaryotic DNA polymerases as alpha, delta and epsilon from family B of DNA polymerases. Next is beta polymerase, lambda polymerase, sigma polymerase, mu polymerase and TDT polymerase from family X of polymerases. Moving further we have gamma polymerase, theta polymerase and nu polymerase from family A of DNA polymerases. And we also have eta, iota and kappa DNA polymerases from family Y. Then we have some organism specific DNA polymerases like Ryu family. These proteins act as DNA polymerases in some eukaryotes, like we have REV1, that's REV1, aka deoxytidyl transferase. It adds to Y family of DNA polymerases. And we also have REV3, REV7 complex referred to as polymerase zeta from B family of DNA polymerases. Now getting to the viral DNA polymerases. First we have the T4 DNA polymerase and T7 DNA polymerase that are found in bacteriophages. We also have reverse transcriptase enzyme which is RNA dependent DNA polymerase in retroviruses. Now let's explain the prokaryotic DNA polymerases in detail. Like we are going to see its polymerase activity and its exonuclease activity. First we have the DNA polymerase 1. It mediates gap link after RNA primer removal from lagging strand. It also aids in removal of primer. Then this DNA polymerase 1 can also drive DNA repair pathways. Now getting to its exonuclease activity, we see it has both exonuclease activity, 5' to 3' as well as 3' to 5' activity. We see during the process of replication, we get the lagging strand with RNA primers and it's by the exonuclease activity of DNA polymerase 1 which removes primers between Okazaki fragments of lagging strand. And the gap between Okazaki fragments is filled by the same DNA polymerase 1 by its primary polymerase activity. Furthermore, when we look into the exonuclease activity of DNA polymerase 1, the 5' to 3' activity is its primary activity of DNA polymerase. It's DNA dependent DNA polymerase activity. It requires a 3' site and a template strand. Then there is 3' to 5' activity, it's exonuclease activity that mediates proofreading. Then we have 5' to 3' exonuclease activity that mediates NIC translation during DNA repair. Now getting to the polymerase 2, it drives DNA repair mechanisms and it has only 3' to 5' exonuclease activity. And finally we have the polymerase 3, it's the main replication enzyme that drives DNA replication proofreading and some editing processes. This enzyme also has 3' to 5' exonuclease activity only that's shown by the epsilon subunit of DNA polymerase 3. Then we have the DNA polymerase 4 that drives translation synthesis and this translation synthesis is due to the replication bypass of 8 oxogonin. Now moving towards the DNA polymerase 5 which is involved in SOS response and translation synthesis during DNA repair. And finally we have the polymerase D. It mediates DNA replication in few archaeans. This polymerase D is different from other polymerase enzymes due to its heterodimeric structure. We see one monomer of polymerase D that's DP1. It shows 3' to 5' exonuclease activity. And the other monomer is DP2 which shows polymerase activity. 
So this is the classification of DNA polymerases and the prokaryotic DNA polymerases in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.